Yeah, here's a picture of a pile of material that John Morrill left me, and uh, he passed away about five or ten years ago, and before he died, he uh, just handed me this bag of material. It wasn't unusual for him to have bags of materials, but um, I just came across it and remembered he had given it to me, and I thought, well, let's... Uh, try to make a video to let people know what I have and it may be redundant, it may be material other people have so let's just get started here yeah so hopefully you'll be able to read the things and they're sort of self-explanatory uh, it's a study at Longboat Pass so uh, let's open it up and see what it's got uh, These are some things that John Morrill has done himself, or ones that he just collected that were about interesting things that he uh, had been working on. So, this is uh, this one thing here. So, a little bit of a reflection from the light, but these are just uh, areas where... Um, they're talking about tortoise management. I think this is the north end of uh, Sister Key. So there were tortoises on a long on um, Longboat Key, Sister Key, and Jewfish Key. And here he's just talking about how to go about a management area for them on Sister Key. Again, this is just a drawing. It says from um, B. Beeman, 1970. So some of these were his students. So uh, they were doing studies and he was working with them and he ended up with copies of it. Yeah, this is a tax appraiser's map that covers an area. And I'm not going to pull it out and show it to you, but it's just a tax appraiser's map. And we use these to uh, yeah, study areas because they were just the cheapest aerial photography that you could get with a date on it. So here's something that was done by someone else, but he added in his file. Um, well, maybe it was done by John Morrill, but it just uh, talks about vegetational analysis and of Sister Key and the uniqueness of it, and uh, some drawings and some history. As far as I know, it used to be called uh, Otter Keys, and then they did some dredge and fill when they were doing the intercoastal waterway. But anyway, they're just something that I'm not trying to, you know, get every bit of this. I'm just trying to let you know what I have. So I offered this to New College. They said they were not in a good state of affairs to take anything to say, which I appreciate. If they're not, we don't want to have all this stuff just lost. And uh, and then I also offered it to the town of Longboat Key. So, there you have it. If you just read out there, it says approximate acreage of major types of wetlands. Sister Key. So, this is interesting. Yeah, so the town of Longboat Key said that they uh, would have someone meet with me to go over it, and I just thought, well, I better just make copies of this. So this is something that John had, looked like somebody else did, study of Beer Can Islands. This is a thesis study, so that's an idea. And uh, it just goes into detail about it, and the person who did it, they've got... Clippings from newspapers. So anyway, this is all should be interesting to people. This is exactly what they're talking about all the time. And this is work that was done years ago. And, you know, as a student, John would have... 
compile of this stuff and just say here have at it look at it but I think it would be a pity for this to be lost if it's original materials yeah it's a letter to the town manager I think from Joan Bergstrom about Jewfish Key so it just shows the history of it that people have been trying to sort this out for years yeah this is some sort of application for a dredging that they were going to do somewhere had something to do with Sister Key, Perico Harbor Marina. Yeah, here's a Robin Lewis report on uh, recommendations for wetland creation, exotic plant species control, and management of gopher tortoises. So, this is all stuff that town may have several copies. If they don't, I got it here. Okay, Longboat Key Inlet aerial photos. Let's see what we got. Just old postcard, environmental impact statement, says it's a duplicate, original photographs, over time, different times, 1975. Seventy-four. Yeah, and here's some photos. 1940. A similar area. 1951. in 1957 so this was what we did a lot with environmental studies as we would look at old photographs and compare them to see what had happened over time yeah so we'll just try this outside see if these lights are better so stability of the south tip of Anna Maria Island Anna Maria Key introduction um, just goes on about Ilex Hurst and uh, the history and uh, got some notes I don't know whether it's John Morrill's notes or what beach erosion all these are issues we're dealing with today just interesting that people years ago same thing about beach erosion same things we're dealing with so I have this if somebody's interested well, it's right here be glad to share it I just don't want it to disappear okay this is a new camera we're outside and uh, the report I just showed you was the Colonel Gee report from Manatee County, Longboat Pass, 1959. Okay, it says right here, it's a 1948 erosion study by the Army Corps of Engineers. Some drawings, some text. Again, this is just to inform you guys that I have this. It's not meant to go over everything. Okay, this is a Spoil Islands by number. A nice drawing showing the original uh, islands and how they were added to. And um, what else is that? There's the intercoastal waterway, so that's where the spoil came from. So um, these Spoil Islands uh, were all joined together by spoil from um, from the intercoastal waterway it says 1980 looks like uh, beer can island to me and um, it 
Here's another photograph. 1975, again, looks like Beer Can Island. Same area, Beer Can Island, 1957. So these are just a progression of photographs. That's what uh, basically a lot of this environmental studies is, is seeing what was and how it changed. This is uh, the formation and reformation of Beer Can Island, the origin of the island, its ownership, the effects of prevailing winds, currents, Apparently this was a thesis, yeah, and it was done by Marita Hames, and it just goes on and it shows you, and it's sort of poor quality copies, but uh, goes over some of the basic elements of the island, literature extracts. So any, uh, this, you know, is uh, just important for people to know about. And uh, somebody went to the trouble to collect all this stuff and put it together. So um, if anybody's interested, this is available for them to see. Some newspaper clippings. Okay, it says aerials of north end of Longboat Key, 1940 to 1980. So, here's one, I guess, from 1940. I don't know. Yeah, that looks like about 1940. So, just, you know, it's treasure trove of stuff just to go poke through, see what, what is in it. And then this would be the one... This was 1960, beach erosion, conditions along the northern tip of Longboat Key, and uh, drawings, photographs, conclusions, recommendations, so was some of my fellow students worked on this project. They got funding. And it's about the intercoastal waterway. It's interesting. It's well done. There's my great uncle's boat. Uh, the mistletoe. But uh, this is probably limited production. Uh, really well done. Uh, I would think people would be interested in seeing it. Okay, here's a Sister Key report by John Morrill. So uh, he did these as a job. You know, people would pay him to do environmental surveys of islands and write papers on subjects. So this was a study he did. And uh, with Phyllis Turner, she was a friend of mine. And uh, this was about Flora of Longboat, and she was an expert, and in particular, she was a, into succulents, so she helped found the succulent society in town, and I was one of the early members, and um, so we got that. Yeah, and here's Barbara Beeman's thesis, I think. And uh, she did it, and it was on the vegetational succession of spoil islands of Sarasota Bay. So it's right here. Whoops. Just tore in half. But uh, she did a careful study, had photographs, writing. This looks like an original right here. Just shows you before computers how they used to do things. The photo of John Morrill in situ out walking through the Australian pines. 
So this was a trip we took to Sister Key one day, and he was just being John. He, you know, has his own thing going. But uh, he was a nice man. I enjoyed his uh, time I spent with him. So anyway, yeah, we'll just uh, try to go through these and show you what we got as they blow away in the wind. So one minute you're inside and you got problems with that, and the other minute you're outside and you got problems with that. So these are just drawings of the island. Some more drawings. And I just, this letter it reminds me of all the letters I wrote to town of Longboat Key. And, and I would, since I was studying with John, I would send him a copy and I'd ask him what he thought. He'd say, you can't say that. And I'd say, why not? And we'll just go back and forth. Yeah, here's a typical letter I was writing to the town and his notes. Some of it, delete this, put this sentence there. You know, just typical teacher-student relationship. And uh, anyway, he just is one of my biggest fans and my biggest critics. So, uh, yeah, more stuff. Mangrove trimming. Things I did. This is a classic right here. This was a, a club that was planned for the north tip of Sister Key, or all of Sister Key. And uh, have the convention center, the club lounge. Look at that, with an airport fly-in, dredge and fill. This was all before uh, they knew the value of the mangroves, so they were just trying to figure what they could do to uh, destroy all the mangroves and uh, put something else there. So this is a, a classic uh, Shangra Isles. For more drawings, just notes on notes kinds of maps and drawings, photographs, newspaper articles, yeah, and photographs. So, We're rapidly getting to the end here. Appraisal of Jewfish Key. Some photographs to go with it. Again, you know, 1964, 1940, 1957, 1964. Anyway, if anybody's interested in this, I have it. I'm going to try to hold on to it. But, uh, you know, I offered it to Longboat Key, offered it to um, New College. And, uh, you know, somebody should get this and store it away carefully for the future. That's all. Have a nice day. Good luck.